Put that down. You're going to hurt your sister. Honey, I want you to get into bed and get some rest, okay? I'll see you tonight. Hey Jeff, I just got a text telling me the internet's down at the facility. Could you check up on that for me, please? ASAP. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there soon. I just have to, uh, I just have to take the girls to daycare. All right, I'll, I'll see you soon. Okay, thanks. I hope you feel better. I love you. I love you too, Mom. Bentley, how are my boys this morning? Come on for a treat. Come on for a treat. Yeah. Come on, Slowpoke. It looks like it's snowing. That's not snow. Fire in the mountains above Conkow. 
There's always a fire in the chatter about uh, evacuations towards Paradise Miguelia area. Well, if it comes over the ridge, it'll be right in Paradise. Get your guys' immediate stuff, your important stuff in the car, get loaded up, get ready to get the hell out of there. Alright, I'll be up shortly. Love you. Bye. So then what do we do is like after I make the phone call, I'll go out to the front to help us. That's good. That sounds like a good plan. What's going on? We need to evacuate. Why? Oh, it's fire. It's bad. Okay, we need to stay calm. We need to stay calm. Okay, I'm going to buy them those. It's a safety zone. It's a safety zone. It's a safety That's where they need to buy those people to go here. 45 Orville, go ahead. I can't get through the IC. I'm at 13, zero, zero, six, on Cal Road. 20 civilian, completely surrounded. are really concerned. Not now, Julie. Um, but Mrs. Anderson won't stop crying. She's really stressed. We're all stressed, Julie. Just do the best you can. Um. We need to evacuate. Now? We need to evacuate now? Yes. Look, look, you gotta get loaded up and get out of here. I'm coming.
Okay. Over here on that side. order has been issued in the town of Polga. We need to go. No, Stop. we need We're to go. We're not in Polga. We're yes, in we need to go. Uh-uh. You have to listen to me this time. I'm not letting you stay here. I'm not going. No, it's serious this you time. You go, need to come. You go. Just go. No, I can't leave I'm here. I'm staying here. No, go. you have to come with me. Look, I have to go get Aunt Josie, but I'm coming back. And I need you to come with me. Never listen. Everybody's getting to the going out. 
Yeah. 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 We don't know where. I know. What's your daughter's name? Yeah, let's, let's get get as far away as we can. Find a parking lot. Find some kind of vacant. Yeah. 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 They can't get in the car. Let's go. Okay. Okay, I know you're scared, okay, I am too, but we're gonna get out of this. Far away as we can, find a parking lot, find some kind of... We are gonna get you out of here. When? When are they coming to get us? So we need all the patients out here. Yeah, yeah, we have, I think we have everyone out here. Good. I don't think there's anyone left inside. I could double check. No, no, it sounded like they're only a few minutes away. Oh. I think you, you, you can be in a few minutes. minutes. Go. Right, we're gonna check, okay? One last check. Yep. Put everyone in the trunk if we have to. Kate? Okay, are you here by yourself? Okay. Yeah, I, w I want them to come get me. <laughs> we will get you to him, okay? We'll carry you up. I think they're fine. Are you with them? On the ridge right now you need to evacuate right now people are leaving by the thousands we do have confirmation that there are homes on fire on the ridge there is no time to pack anything just get in your car and get out right now there are cars taking up both sides of the lanes east and west north and south all four lanes of the skyway are being taken up right now also you need to be on the lookout for emergency vehicles so again right now paradise and megillia are on fire the sky is dark because there is so much smoke people cannot even see where they are going right now so they are doing whatever they can to get out if you are on the ridge there is no time to relax or to wait you need to get out as quickly as possible, but drive safely because there are emergency vehicles on the road trying to keep traffic flowing. Because this is my house, I'm not going anywhere, and they keep saying, get out, get out. We need to go now. It's not here. I heard it wasn't here. It, I saw the news. It's not here. So we need to move and we need to get out now. I'm not going. So you're refusing to leave? Yeah, absolutely, because I'm not leaving my house. But we're gonna guess come back and get you. I I'm not leaving. Stubborn old mule. Well, whoa. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sis. Sue, is that you? Yes, it's Sue. Are you in paradise? Are you no. at your house? I'm still in Chico. I can't get through the barricade. The whole town is on fire. And I left John at home this morning and I don't know what to do. Have you have you talked to them? No. Have you been able to get through? The phones keep going out. I can't get through to them. Is mom and dad at the house? Yeah. Sis? Sis? Damn it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Work. Work. God, let me get through to my son. Please let me get through to my son. John! walks out 
in high heels, but oh, wow. they managed to do it. Well, that sounds like them. If you just like turn for a minute and then next thing you know, if it's not shoes, then it could be my clothes or, you know, I'll turn my head for a minute and next thing you know, all of the dolls are lined up, the stuffed animals <laughs> and the shoes going to war with each other. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know how you do it, seriously. I mean, the way you keep up on everything. I mean, they keep you on your toes. They do. They do. But I don't know what I would do without you. With work being as crazy as it is at the skilled nursing facility, it gets pretty crazy there. I wouldn't be able to focus on it. Really focus without knowing that my kids are being taken care of because of you. You're my big sis, and I love you, so I'm proud of I love you. you too. Thank Any you. Anything I can do to help. It means a lot. So how's work? Well, you know, crazy, uh, but we manage. So I got all the grocery shopping done for this weekend for when your parents come over for dinner. Um, I know your dad likes brownies, so I'm gonna get Julia to make those. And I did get one other thing at the grocery store. I got a pregnancy kit and it's positive. <laughs> it's what? Yeah, I know, <coughs> six. <coughs> We'll get through it. Yeah. We'll figure okay. it out. You need to be nicer to Kay. Why? She's here. She nags all the time. She gets to me. Well, yeah, well, she is your caregiver. Yeah, that was your idea, not mine. Yeah, well, she's my younger sister, so I thought I'd give her a chance. Well, she just goes on and on and on. Blah, 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 all the day long about what I have to do. And I'm getting tired of it because I'm used to living alone and I'm just bugs me. So maybe you could talk to her. I could try and then talk to her about what your issues are. Okay. The doctor said you do need some assistance. Yeah, but I'm not comfortable with it. I don't like it. I'm used to living alone, and then there's suddenly somebody in my house. She is your daughter, though. Well, that's true, but she's she's different than you. She nags me all the time. You come in, and you're nice, and you never nag me. Well, maybe if I tell you what bugs me about her, maybe you'd feel comfortable bringing it up to her, because I certainly don't feel comfortable. She'd take offense. She'd never talk to me again. I can talk to her and we can write down your issues and then I can discuss it with her and see what she would like. Okay. Thanks. Does that work? Yeah, it works. Okay. As long as she changes. Well, I don't know because we're all very stubborn. So she might, but we can see what we can do. Okay. Well, maybe stubbornness runs in the family, but maybe some people will change. We can try. <laughs> <laughs> we can try. We can try. So. of the campfire is obviously great, but there's another aspect to this that is equally as heartbreaking. There are so many animals right now that are suffering. We're seeing people who are escaping the flames with two, three dogs, cats, birds, even a fish tank in the car, just grabbing every animal that they have, throwing it in the car and getting out. And then we have other people who weren't able to bring their livestock. Uh, they have pets that are just on their property that they weren't able to get to in time, or maybe they thought, hey, we've been through this before, we've evacuated and nothing's happened, so the animals will be fine. Well, you know what, unfortunately, this fire has been so massive that the toll on these animals and the wildlife is going to be great. We don't know yet just how bad it is, but we can assume by what we've seen, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty heartbreaking. Deborah, the horses wouldn't stay in the barn. No, no, they, they've got to leave. I mean, they would run. The horses are smart enough to run. Yeah, I mean, they're not, they're not gonna stay and burn. You've got a lot of places for them to run and your barns are open. Yeah, someone's gotta find them. 
who do we know up there that we can call, that we can ask to, that we can ask to go look and to go check for them? All, everyone is gone. Okay. And I had my phone number. Someone's gonna call me. I mean, someone's gonna find them. And they won't stay in the barn, right? No, no, no. They'll get, they'll get out of the barn. They'll get out of the barn. They, they're not gonna want. They're not gonna want to stay. Jacob, you filled the water trough, right? Yes. The big one. Yes. The hundred-gallon water trough, Jacob. Yes. Okay. And how much hay did you put out? I put out one hay bale. Okay, and we left the gates open, right? Yes, Mom, I'm positive. You saw me leave the gates open? Yes. Hello, Julie, it's Deborah. Can you get here? You can't? We left, we had to leave two horses behind. If there's any way you can get them. Up, Jaya, wait, turn right. Don't turn left. We have to evacuate up. We're closing this road. We left two horses back there. I understand. You have to keep moving. Well, do your best to get the horses. Please keep moving. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's not safe. Yes, turn right. We have to evacuate up. Well, Deborah, I don't know that route. You're going to have to guide me. That's okay. I'll, I'll get us there. I know the route to Chico. Okay. We'll go for we will go for a couple miles and then we'll have to turn make a left. Okay, well maybe we can come back and get them. I don't know if we have enough time, but we can drop these horses. I can try to come back. Right, let's 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 do the best that we can to get them. What now? I just have to go do one last check to make sure all of the residents are out. I'll come with No! Leah, you get out of here as quickly as you can. Go, 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 go. Is anybody here? Anybody? without you. Leah, please, go. Have you found your kids? Oh my gosh. Leah, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Help. We're not burning yet. Can you walk? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Come on. Okay. Angus Bentley, where are you guys? Come on, let's go for a ride. Load up, load up. Oh, good boy. Angus. Load up. in the crate for me. Oh, you're the only one that could get her in the crate. But you know, I think she's better off in the house. I left her with a lot of food and water. I did. I did. You know, it doesn't really look so bad. There's a lot of ash coming down. But, um, I still see the sun. The sky is still blue, but I don't see any flames. I don't see any smoke. I think we'll be okay. I think our house will be okay. I love you. Bye. Jan, are you getting out? Yeah, yeah. Dan's waiting down the hill for me. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. This ash. See you in a few days. Okay. Officer, officer, please. My son is trapped in there and nobody can help him but me. I'm sorry, ma'am. We can't let you go in there. Nobody's going in. Only coming out. If you're not going to let me in, then send somebody up there to get him out, for heaven's sakes. All emergency personnel are doing everything they already can. I don't care what everybody else is doing. I want my son out! That seems to be the problem here. He won't let me in. He's gonna die in there. This is my son. Oh, 
forget that face. He looks just like my son. Write the address down. I'll go there myself. And I'll go look for him. Oh, gosh. Thank you, officer. Thank you so much. Now, can I go with you? I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry, I can't allow that. I can't allow that. But I promise you, I'll do my best to find yourself. Okay. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right, we made it. We're here. Okay, we gotta get those horses out. Come on. Come on, Jacob. Let's get those horses out of the trailer. Mom, it's gonna be all right. We got these horses out. We got these horses out. Come on. Let's take care of these horses. What are, what are we going to do, Greta? They're, they're not going to let us Come in. Come on. Okay. Come on. Okay. I, I have a question. What is it? The fire. It's getting closer. I know. I know that. And what if it reaches the car? If it reaches the car, what are we going to do? Are we, are we going to stay in the car with them and, and burn? Are, are we going to get out and we're going to run? I mean, I don't know what to do. And, and I need to know what to do. Okay. But, but you're going to have to make that decision for yourself. Okay? Okay. So if, if I'm going to make that decision for myself, then then I need I need to try. I need to take at least one of them with me and, I'm, and I need to run. I, I, can't, I can't live with myself if I don't at least try. Okay. Okay, but... Look, we're not there yet, okay? God is going to give us an option. I know he will. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. <sighs> Officer? I'm sorry. Did you find him? I'm sorry. Your son's gone. No. No, he's not. No. <laughs> mandatory evacuation so if you live anywhere on the ridge there is no time to wait you need to get in your car and get out right now the sky is dark because there is so much smoke blowing from the east to the west this started at 6 30 a.m at the town of polga and it just quickly raced across the hills right now flames are chewing their way through paradise so if you live there you need to evacuate i just spoke with one woman who was at work in chief
Chico when she found out that this fire was now in the town of Paradise. She can't get hold of her family. She's been trying to call, but self-service, many towers have been burned, so they aren't able to use their phone right now. A lot of people are not able to use their cell phone, so there's almost no communication between Paradise and Chico. The roads are clogged. People are driving down the Skyway. They're headed down the Skyway towards Chico using up all four lanes. Right now, emergency vehicles are trying to get into the town of Paradise. So if you are trying to drive down the Skyway, you need to look out for those emergency vehicles and give them room. Right now, this is the time when everybody's headed to the shelters. We all need to take care of each other right now. Officer! Officer! Hi, can we get your help? We have disabled in the car and they have special needs. Please, help us. You can't drive out of here. The traffic isn't moving. You're going to have to get out of the car and walk out. What? These people cannot walk. They're disabled. They can't walk anywhere. You need to get your people out of the car and walk out. Uh, what do you expect for me to do? Just do the best that you can. I, I don't know. How? Shelter in place. Walk out. I, do I don't the, know do what the, to do. Do the best you can. I don't know what to do. Taking so long. Can't you do something? Yes, I can, and I will, don't you move? Get your ass back in the car. What are you still doing here? Get out! Get them out now! Alright, alright, alright! Come on! We can do this! Get them out of the car! Get the winner! Thank God the call went through. Jessica, is that you? Where are you? I'm in paradise. I'm trying to make it out on foot. On foot? What do you mean on foot? Listen, listen, I can't talk right now. Are the girls with you? Are they okay? Yes, the girls are with me and, and they're fine. <sighs> you should have left with us. 
I couldn't imagine leaving the patients alone. I'm supposed to be their leader. I can't imagine leaving anyone behind. Sal! I swear, Mel! It'll be okay, Jess. <laughs> I know you will. Yeah. Katie, listen to me. Tell the girls that I love them. You're her. breaking up. T tell them you love you love them. Yes. And if, I will. Listen, I will. listen. If I don't make it out okay, please take care of them for me. <laughs> but you're gonna make it out. You're gonna make it. I can't breathe. I gotta go. Please be safe. <laughs> that it is nearly afternoon and this fire has been burning since after 6.30 a.m. this morning, starting in the town of Polga and then moving westward. It has now burned through Concow, Paradise, Megillia. We do have confirmation that there are many structures lost in all of these communities. In fact, unfortunately, we have learned that much of Paradise is now gone. People have moved into the shelters across Chico and parts of Butte County by the thousands. This is when we really need to look out for each other. But we do want to tell you right now that parts of Southern Chico are being impacted and evacuated right now. If you live in the southeastern part of Chico, either need to follow the evacuation order or be ready to go. Right now, evacuees are moving into Chico. There are people in Chico who are helping these evacuees. Obviously, this is the time when everybody really needs to look out for each other. Rachel, we gotta get out of here. We just can't stay. Oh, We're stuck right. here. Come on, guys, we gotta go. We gotta get out. Let's go. Come on, Nicole. Let's go. Fulfill my promise. I just came from the neighborhood church, which is an impromptu shelter that the Red Cross has set up there. And the stories that are coming out of there are absolutely heartbreaking. Keep in mind that the towns of Paradise and Megillia were filled with senior citizens, people who went up there to retire. So now you have these senior citizens who are walking around, they're absolutely shell-shocked. They're covered in blankets that the Red Cross gave them, and they're walking around these shelters not knowing exactly what happened, not understanding. This is such a traumatic situation for 
for everyone. Right now we have volunteers who are showing up at those shelters, bringing food, um, taking down names, getting information to try to get these loved ones in touch with their families. Uh, this is a time when everybody needs to be able to reach out, check in and say, hey, I'm okay, because there's a lot of confusion happening right now, a very serious situation. Um, this is the time again, when everybody needs to be doing what they can, bringing in their strengths to help their neighbors. And right now at the neighborhood church, uh, it's just heartbreaking to see what those people are going through. Hello? Hey, baby, it's me. Bobby! Bobby, where are you? I'm still up here. What? You're still in paradise? I just got another bus load down. We're trying to make sure everybody's down the hill. Bobby, people are dying up there. I know. You have a family that needs you. I know, I'm sorry. Bobby, please come home safe. I will. I'm gonna make it out of here. You better. Okay, I pray. I love you. Love you too. just came from Butte College, which is a staging area. We are seeing fire companies come from all over California to support this effort. They are getting here incredibly quickly. In fact, I've never seen so many fire companies arrive from other parts of the state that a fire just started several hours ago. So right now we've seen fixed wing aircraft doing water drops. We've seen helicopters doing water drops. We've seen thousands of engines, um, personnel from all over, hand crews, bulldozers playing a huge part right now trying to keep the skyway clear of fallen trees and cars that frankly have already burned and are now blocking the evacuation. Incredibly serious situation and first responders are doing what they can and it's not just the fire companies, also police. Uh, police companies from all across the state are coming in to help. Um, this is a situation where it's all hands on deck. We can't. There's too many burnt cars blocking the road. Get in here. Sit down. Sit down. Right here. Right here. Sit down. Sit down. You're going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. I was in an ambulance and they picked me up at Skyway and the ambulance caught on fire. And I had to run and I kept on running and running. I thought I was going to die. You're going to be fine, Cap. we got a call for We need some help. There is no help. What do you mean there's no help? This is a fire truck. I thought I was safe now for an ambulance and now a fire truck. What's that sound? It's a dozer. I hear a dozer. Yeah, I hear a dozer. It's a dozer. I hear 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 a dozer.
Good. I'm really worried about her. She hasn't eaten since the fire yesterday. She won't talk. Not a single word. We have to be thankful. Thankful? Thankful for what? What could there possibly be to be thankful for? Thankful that the whole city of Chico didn't burn up with the rest. Thankful that we still have each other. Yes, but we don't have John. Sue doesn't have John. I don't understand. And I need answers. Why did God let this happen? This isn't God's fault. Why does he always get the blame for all of man's mistakes? God didn't start this fire. Hello. Who is this? Sue! Sue! John's alive! He's at the hospital. John's alive! John's alive! Stop! Just stop, would you? What do you mean, John's alive? I talked to the administrator. He called me on the phone. John is alive. Come on, He's listen. Alive? He's waiting for us. Come on, darling. John's Come on, alive. little girl. Let's go see her. Let's go see her son. He's waiting. Save this little boy's life. No heroes here. It's just what you do. So I heard you're going home soon. Yeah, I'm super excited to see my mom. Well, I bet she's really excited to see you too. Come on, mom. sis. So 
Just 